I'm Sue Heilbronner at Boulder Idea. And I first learned that I was going to have trouble having my own kids when doctors discovered at 18 that I was infertile, when they were looking for something else. In my early 30s, I found myself married and in a fertility clinic surrounded by women desperate to have their own children, and I was a little ambivalent. I got pregnant with a child that was due on January 1st, 2000. That was a bona fide millennium kid. And I decided to create, while practicing law, an e-commerce business called Why To Wear, clothing and accessories for the millennium baby. One night I was coming home from a baby trade show, they have those, and I was walking upstairs with some merchandise and I had a miscarriage. There was no ambivalence there. That was the death of something meaningful and the birth of something meaningful and very enduring. An entrepreneurial life surrounded by hundreds of young mentees, or as I sometimes call them, kids. People ask me at parties, cocktails, and whatnot, Sue, do you have kids? And to be honest with you, I actually don't know how to answer that question. I chose not to, ultimately and 15% of all adults over 45 in the U.S. don't have kids, but it got me thinking, what does it mean to be a parent? And in order to help me and maybe you answer that question, I came up with these seven telltale indicators that you are a parent. First, you are a protector. When I took responsibility for Katie, a 25-year-old woman who's recovering from a life of anorexia, I knew that my primary job was to nurture her and keep her safe. Second, you are a wildly biased advocate. When the co-founders of Native, a company I mentor and promised to invest in, came to me and they said, Sue, you were investing in our education company, and guess what, now we're a travel company, are you in? I said, hell yes. It's the who, not the what. You are an amazing listener. And let me give you my three favorite questions. Number one, what are you feeling? Number two, what are you really good at? And number three, what do you most deeply want? You are a kick-ass coach. You get the relationship between loving challenger and incredible coach and cheerleader. And when your kids decide to reject your coaching and do something completely the opposite, you're cool with that because it's their own journey. You are a comforter. And this one's hard for me, but I'm starting to figure this out. All feelings are welcome, no fixing is needed, and hugs are mandatory. You are a rock. I got to tell you, from a very young age, I've had this crazy first strength that is marked every day of my life, and I have finally figured it out that this strength was here to give others something to lean against. And last, you are a lover. There is so much joy and gratitude and passion in this body that sometimes the inside of my skin hurts. Thank goodness I have all of these wonderful young people to share this with. So why do I do it? Why do I mentor hundreds of people? Well, number one, it gives me energy, duh. Number two, my, the kids, your kids, they are cooler with me than they are with you. <laughs> And number three, I have bought a ton of coffee over the last 20 years, and at 60, the dial is turning over here. So why do I choose 20-somethings? Well, they are fiery, they are reverent, they are nimble, they are funny, and I make up this hilarious story that they think I'm cool. So just to check, I asked a few, and Chris from Shinesty told me that hanging out with me is like a high-octane shot of adrenaline. Brian from Brightness told me that he loves the fact that when we get together, we can talk about real life things, from breakups to salary negotiations. Devin from Native said that he can be 100% vulnerable in his time with me. And Sarah told me that when she sits down with me, she knows that authentic communication are ta is table stakes. So here's the thing, the only difference between you real parents and me is that y'all get your kids to come home for the holidays, but I am changing that. Starting in 2016, July 4th is my day, and 2016 will be the first Heilbronner family reunion. Slots are still available. So get this, if you want to parent more, or you want a child more, poof, I give you permission. It takes a community to create a community. And as for me, get ready on three. Sue, do you have kids? Ready, one, two, three. Yes! Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, you're right. 
I have way more than I can count. Thanks, Boulder, for being home.